If someone said, hey, Hunter, can I take you out for coffee or, or dinner? And I'm about to leave my day job. I, can you just, can you talk me through it? Because I'm really scared. I have this good gig, but I'm not fulfilled. And I've got insurance. And, and I, I really, I've got some money set aside. They take you to a nice place. You sit down. What would you tell them? I would say, leave your day job if you're thinking about it. Because there's more day jobs to come. And unless we all crash, which we'll all do it together, there's going to continue to be jobs as far as I'm concerned. If you're self, a self-thinker, a motivator, you know, somebody who's motivated and can make stuff happen, then uh, take your chance to leave your day job. I think we'll all ultimately maybe know when to go back. Um, I hope. I, I say that too and I caution, I, I throw a little caution out there because I have had that moment back in 2008 when everything was crashing and I was kind of in that, I don't know, films for me and I started looking a little bit at jobs and, and it's, it was tough, you know, it was definitely that tough feeling of like, I don't know if I can get a job anymore. Like it's, it's I don't know if I can be that sort of like, here's my resume and here's all the things I've done sort of person, you know? Um, and so uh, I do, I, I'll say, just be careful what I say if you do sit down with me, but uh, uh, seriously, go for it. I mean, you take, take these chances. This is our time in life to get to take chances and do cool things. And you watch 10 miles per hour and that's my principle. And you know, I've met a lot of people along the way that have seen that film and it's helped ultimately, I think, affect their decision to, to quit and go for something else. So what type of checklist should someone make? What is like they're almost they're packing for a camping trip. If they're going to leave a day job, let's suppose they realize, okay, there are many other jobs to come in my lifetime, but I may not have the time and energy that I do now mm. at this age, so I'm gonna do it. What would you tell them? What are some of the actual like, you know, whether have this much amount of rent or mortgage in the bank or, you know, I mean like real concrete mm -hmm. steps. Yeah, I think if you wanna leave your job uh, to try something new. I think you definitely should try to have some savings set set aside and you know And that would depend on if you've got a mortgage or, or, or those types of things I'd be afraid not to I mean I would I would say that you should kind of evaluate what you really need what you have to have and, and be okay with potentially separating yourself from some of the things that you're you're you know sort of hooked on um, I've often found when you make those changes in life it brings you know so much so much reward to you um, and then have a plan you know give yourself a time time frame for do, developing what you want to do if it's a film great I mean don't think that you can go out and make a film in a few months it's gonna take typically a year to two years at least for your first film to really develop it shoot it and and, and get it finished for some people it takes a lot longer I, th I think it's very important to put pressure on yourself and those that you're working with like I try not to put I try not to allow more than two years to span for the whole lapse of development and, you know, production and post-production and ultimately distribution, you know. I mean, distribution kind of goes on, but the main core initial phase of distribution is, you know, usually a few to several months. So my goal, you know, ultimately with films is, you know, definitely give yourself a limit and that's with any, any project. And if you get out there and you quit your job and you've done this and you, you, it's not working for you, don't be afraid to go back and and work again at a day job for a little while and rethink, you know, reinvent. I think that too many times we get too scared about, oh no, what's gonna happen? And really, well, I'll be fine. You know, you might be in a little bit of financial duress for a while, but who cares? You can, you can use your experiences that you found by, by quitting your job and trying something different to ultimately find a better job that pays better and you can pay things off quickly. I mean, I was, at, I was, in debt about forty thousand dollars after my first film and and ten miles per hour and I remember when we were releasing it you know we we're making back a little bit of that money but then we were trying to make another film and we were trying to we were trying to get out of this hole and I was definitely stuck in a hole of lots of debt and for me that felt like a lot of debt at that time um, it was on credit cards and I can remember when you know we were able to use use this like kind of scheme to prevent the interest from hitting and then the interest started hit and both Josh and I were like man, what are we going to do, you know? And that's, that was a time when I was like, okay, time to get a job for a while. And I went back, got a job, and I just worked very hard to pay those, those credit cards off. That was my top priority. I, I wanted to, as fast as I could, get out of that debt. It took a, took a couple years, but I was able to do it. Um, and, and that gave me a lot of uh, life again. But there was a period of time where it was dark. It was hard. It was like, I can't make these films. This is a, this is a joke. Well, fortunately, some, like 10 miles per hour, you know, had a few deals and, and some, some money did come in and we were able to use the money that was coming in to help, you know, to help get rid of that debt a little quicker. Um, that's not the case for everybody I know. Sometimes your films just don't, 
don't seem to, to hit or take off.